Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to Basinger's Disc Golf Channel. Josh Basinger here and we have the third installment of the 2015 versus 2020 Basinger video series. I want to give a huge thank you to our Patreon supporters for making content like this uh, possible. So thank you so much for everything you do for us guys. Wouldn't be possible without you. Uh, the original footage from this round, as you can see here, uh, came from the Opposite Hand Challenge. So the first time the guys and I filmed at Borden Park in 2015, uh, we played some of the holes to the wrong basket. So we went back and punished ourselves and played with our opposite hands. You can see here in 2020, uh, I've got my MVP deflector, a mid-range, just throwing it out wide and let it fade back. It does just that, and I've got a putt for a two. A uh, funny thing about me is I'm actually right-handed in every aspect in life, including riding with my right hand. I just throw with my left hand, so kind of odd, but that's just me. Um, hoping that that uh, right-handed uh, life that I've had has uh, will lead me to some good putts here. Uh, not going to help me out on the first hole, but let's see what I can do with my left hand here in 2020. All right, up and in for the two. Starting out one down through one. I walked directly in front of my cousin Riley there. Apologize for that, little cuz. May have taken me five years to apologize, but I am sorry. <laughs> so hole number two here looks like 195 feet. Got my Axiom Proxy. You're going to see me throw that thing a lot on this course. It just sets up, uh, my game sets up perfect for a proxy on this course. Uh, just a soft putter toss. Just let it glide straight. Maybe a little bit of turnover. Because all these holes are pretty short on this course. Looks like I've got my uh, MVP Axis in my hand here. It's no longer in my bag, but this was the first disc I ever got a uh, ace with. So, kind of cool little history there. Let's see, you got a putt for a three here in 2015. Hopefully I can can that one. No. Do the stupid little dance after missing the putt as well. Uh, let's see if I can go two down through two here in 2020. Up and in. Looks like I got a small little tap in. Well, I don't know if I can consider a tap in with my opposite hand, but yeah. Good catch from that basket there. You'll see that this course has uh, gone through quite a bit of changes over the years. So some of the holes are absolutely completely different holes now. Uh, this one here is the same. But you will notice that the baskets are different. They got the new uh, Prodigy T2 baskets here on the course now. Uh, once again, going with the flick, and got a lot of a lot of distance, pretty good amount of distance on that on a hole that I really didn't want distance on. But you know, do what you can do. Looks like I'm going to uh, angle my wrist a little bit too much and turn that up shot over, but. Still have a putt for a three. Looks like I've got a putt for a two just inside the circle. Oh, man. I really wanting that. I'm wanting to start three through three. It'll definitely make you feel good starting around that way. Uh, no matter the length of the course, even if it's a short course, it'll still make you feel good. I remember this course, or this clip here, could not get the disc out of the basket for some odd reason. Very funny clip there. So two down through three, not too bad. Going on to hole number four, which is quite a bit different. The uh, basket is in uh, a different location. It's a little bit longer and more to the right. Tried to turn this one over and didn't really put anything on it, and it just kind of faded out. It went a little long at the basket, but you know, it just didn't go left enough. And <laughs> really torqued over on that one. Uh, almost missed the Mando there, but... Fortunately, landed uh, just to the right of the Mando pole, as you can see. Um, looks like maybe just my putter uh, MVP Adam I'm going with or the upshot there. Here's my comeback putt for the two. Hmm. Two holes in a row I've missed. Start two down and then miss two. Kind of feels bad on this course. You definitely want to get as many as you can on this with it all being short holes. Good putt there for myself. If I don't mind saying so myself, my opposite hand there, really happy with that one. Tap in for three. That's two threes. We're two down and two up. So 
Moving on to hole number five. Once again, as you can see, I got that Axiom Proxy in my hand. Just dead straight putter. You can get a little bit of turn, off or, turn, turn on it, which is what I'm doing here, and then get some fade back. And that one had to have faded right over the top of the basket. You'll see it when we get down there to it. But uh, you, here you can see hole five, hole five in 2015, a completely different tee. They've added some uh, playground areas and a walking path and stuff around the park. So some of the course had to be redesigned, you know, for safety of uh, all park visitors, not just disc golfers. Completely understand that. And going with MVP Adam again, right-handed putt from about 20. And <laughs> two in a row. I don't know what's going on here, but maybe I need to try out this right-handed putt situation. So you can see that one had to have just hazard right over the top of the basket from where that land would, landed. Um, three down now through five holes. This is hole six. This one's exactly the same as it used to be in 2015. Got my proxy once again and just turned it too much that time and it actually slid under that car out of bounds. I thought it was going to go in the trunk that was open there. Fortunately, it did not because that would have been pretty hard to explain another absolutely horrible flick I can't even flick with my left hand so I don't know why I thought I could do it with my right hand <clears throat> got my axis again here and just never really put anything on that one but I still have a putt for three so after the OB stroke in the road I'm putting this is for my par save Ooh. Off the rim, hit a little bit of chains and out. Unfortunate. It's going to be a four here at Borden. Please don't tell anybody that I took a four at Borden. Kind of hurts my feelings a bit. And there we go. That's going to be two fours on hole six at Borden, unfortunately. Kind of understandable using the uh, opposite hand there, but definitely should never four a hole like this with my normal throwing arm moving on to hole seven and uh this one's exactly the same got my discraft buzz in my hand here one of my two buzzes that i bag just throw it out straight and let the disc do the work and get some fade on it fade out right near the basket did exactly that so i have a putt for a two another turnover <laughs> unintentional turnover uh not sure why I kept going with it. I saw, I was seeing on every hole that the, it just wasn't working, but I was quite persistent and kept trying it and uh, not really paying off. Another putt, try and save par here. Ooh, not quite. I got this putt, uh, short little 10, 15 footer here for a birdie. Oh my goodness. Not sure if I deserve that one or not, so. Uh, I will take it, uh, but it almost fell out of the basket. Good catch on that basket there. This is hole number eight, a hole that I've actually aced with that exact disc you see in my hand there. It's my Plasma Envy. Just threw it dead straight at it. Not today. Um, definitely was not trying to go to the left of those trees. Just a misfire there. Let's see if I can give it an ace run here. Oh, no. No, that's not an ace run. Don't know if you noticed, but definitely not an ace run. Once again, got my uh, MVP axis. That was an eclipse axis. Ooh, oh, off the front of the basket. Good op shot there. Here's my putt for a two on hole eight. Oh my goodness. Off the chains and uh, cage again, unfortunately. That's two questionable putts that had about a 50-50 chance of staying in. Hole nine here, uh, one of the longer ones on the course, so two something, maybe 250 or so. Uh, throw MVP Photon really softly and uh, get a little bit of turn and then just let it fade and skip near the basket. Looks like it did just that, so I definitely have a putt for two again. Hopefully I can hit that one. <laughs> Threw that one about as high as I did far, so that's a good shot. <laughs> if you see me out on the course and uh, you see me with the, uh, my disc in my right hand like I'm going to flick it, please do not allow me to do that. And once again, went about 80 feet long. 
and then a jump putt, obviously towards the tree because it looked like I was not putting towards that basket there. Up and in for the two. That's four down so far through nine holes. So uh, you'll see a change here on the uh, back nine. We actually only played the front nine with our opposite hands and then tried to save our scores on the back nine. So starting on hole 10 here, I will be throwing with my left hand in 2015. Looks like I got my buzz in my hand again. Once again, the same as, uh, let's see, well, I can't remember was but I just throw it out straight and let it fade and let the disc do the work uh, buzz if you throw it real slow like that it'll just kind of get a little bit of tail off at the end and a little high but it looks like I actually have a putt there this could potentially be the first left-handed putt of the day I'm not sure if we played anywhere else before Borden but I highly doubt it ooh can the first left-handed putt. So I've got to feel good about that after all those righty putts. Another putt up and in. Two birdies. So I'm five down and four over. Going to be going to hole number 11. Looks like once again I'll be uh, going with my Axiom Proxy. Just dead straight putter. If you've not tried an Axiom Proxy, try one out. You know, you throw it at low speeds and it just flies dead straight. Like, Absolutely pure, small gaps like that. Going with more of a hyzer play back in 2015. Uh, got up there, looks like maybe a 30, um, maybe a little bit outside the circle there. Uh, see if I can can two in a row. This would be a long one, I doubt it, but okay, all right. And we got it, so definitely going to feel good about those. Uh, two uh, two left-handed putts, probably the first two left-handed putts of the day. Four twos in the past two holes, so that feels good, right? Moving on to hole number 12. This one's actually completely different, but it's not completely different. The tee is a little bit off, uh, further back, I believe, and the basket is a little bit closer in 2015. So it's a very similar, the hole's in pretty much the same spot, but everything's just kind of moved uh, back a little bit, I believe. So, went long here in 2015 and uh, got a putt for the two. Hmm. Nope. Should have tried it right handed. Got another putt here. Apparently, 2020 Josh is still closer. There we go. And I uh, got a putt for a two here in 2020. Up and in. Seven down. Uh, through 12 holes feeling pretty good about that so far as I said Borden's one of those courses you want to try and get as many holes as you can they're all short and all birdieable but you know it's just a matter of getting your drive out there and hitting your putt hole 13 here is completely different you'll see this one's going along the side of the road this one hurt my heart a bit I hit the limb fell down and then rolled out of bounds in the road so that's unfortunate. And this is the old hole 13, which I really miss. Um, it was perfect, as you can see, for a lefty. That was one of the ace run holes. Every time I played that, I was like, well, you know, a lot of these are ace run holes, but that was one that I really felt I had a decent chance at every time, you know. Being up in Kingsport, I don't play this course too often, but uh, each time I played it, I, I really liked playing hole 13. That's a two in 2015. As to be expected, and this is going to be a tap in for a four. I was running that putt near the road trying to save my par. Wasn't able to do it. Not too happy, as you can see there. That is two fours at Borden. Please forget that ever happened. Hole 14 is another one that's completely different, as you can see. 2015 Basinger taking the tee. This one was uphill, and the basket was around where hole 13's basket is now. Maybe the same location actually now that I think of it. Hole 14 now is just pretty much a dead straight shot. A uh, little bit of, I, I would say a little bit more lefty friendly because it does fade to the right or does play to the right rather. Trying to get up and down as you can see. Yeah it looks like that basket is actually where the old hole 13's basket was so if you could find that similar area I guess technically you could probably still safari uh, the old hole 14. Ooh, 
Another missed putt. And let's see if I can hit this one here. Try and get myself back to seven down. Which is a decent round out here in Borden. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, every hole is birdieable. Just a matter of hitting the putts. And that I did not. Shout out to Jerry and the Puppy Willow. And up and in there for a uh, par. Hole 15, another hole that's completely different. Uh, this one... I really like this hole. This is one of the ones that uh, I, I, I like a lot, but I, I actually love the old hole as well. So, Ooh, close. I almost hit the chains there. I'm not sure if it actually hit anything, but that one was very close to going in. Old 15 was just a downhill shot. I absolutely loved this hole. kind of hate that you can't really play that one anymore, but I do understand the safety of the of the park visitors definitely got to keep that in mind had a horrible drive and uh, that was my upshot putting for my par save here should be able to hit this one and take the par ooh unfortunate spit out there's another two in 2020 so back to seven down putting with the streamlined pilots Nowadays, I used to putt with those right there, the MVP Adams are very similar. Just the pilots feel a little bit softer around the rim, which I love a soft putter. Um, this hole here is, I think the T is a little bit in a different spot, uh, but it's, it's not a complete redesign hole, I don't believe. Maybe I'm wrong. Kind of hard to tell. Um, looks like I had a better drive in uh, 2015. Uh, still a little bit pretty pretty far out. Don't expect myself to make a putt like this. This is just one of those. Give it maybe a half go and hope it sits near the basket. Same thing with this one. You know, a little too far out to feel absolutely comfortable with it at my skill level. But, you know, give it a half, half go and hope it sits. It did that, so that'll be a tap in. and Got that one up and in for the three. Hole 7 here, definitely, or 17 rather, I'm sorry, definitely a lefty hole. Uh, I should be going with backhand, but for some reason I've always felt more comfortable with a flick turnover, just getting that. Eh, well, that didn't work, but uh, you'll see here. I'm pretty sure this was a good shot back in 2015. Just to get the slow turn rather than just a quick drop, you can see here it's got that slow turn, and ooh, Almost put it in, landed right under the basket. I just really prefer that slow turn than a quick drop. I know it seems crazy, but, you know, there's the, here's the proof. Proof is in the pudding. And uh, there we go. It's a two. Didn't get it here with that unfortunate roll. Just got it two turned over. Last hole, hole number 18. Um, 2015 Basinger taking the box as well, once again. Uh, plus four and minus seven right now, so pretty decent round. I got I got a hold of that one. I think that's the old Axiom Insanity I used to throw. Uh, went a little bit long, but, you know, should have a putt. And on this one, trying to go soft and just went too high and hit those branches and got knocked down. So I've got a long putt. Probably not going to be canning this one. Just, you know, once again, like I mentioned on... One of the other holes there, just give it a half bid and hope it sits down. That's fine. That should be a tap in three. So I'll be seven down to finish out in 2020. And uh, four up, it looks like. In, uh, oh, birdie. That's going to be three up. So I know this is not quite a good uh, video as far as showing improvement with it being opposite hand, but still a fun video to show off. So. Thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog. Give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some. And I'ma keep on grinding till the millions come.